Morning, Charlie. So you just all saw some weakness in Wednesday's session. Uh, we risk on equities uh, market and any marginal increase in yields really weighing on the green back there ahead of today's key CPI print. Uh, there was little in the way of uh, tier one data releases, but uh, some hawkish leaning comments for late in the session from uh, the Fed's Williams probably stemmed a bit of losses there. Uh, the US dollar index did make another attempt to breach that 102.57 resistance, but uh, for the fifth time this year, it's again rejected. So this will be a key level to watch over today's CPI report. Uh, Euro did move higher, heading into it's heading into the APAC session on a high at around 109.70. Uh, Euro was supported by some comments from the ECB's De Guindos, who warned the rapid pace of disinflation seen in 2023 is likely to slow in 24. And Schnabel, who said uh, it is too early to discuss rate cuts. Uh, Japanese yen was the uh, clear G10 underperformer. Um, Japanese wage data came in softer than expected, or much softer than expected, throwing some cold water on the um, expectations of the Bank of Japan normalizing rates. Uh, Dollar yen followed the US 10, Japanese 10 rate differential higher, breaching that psychological 145 level. Uh, the British pound also rallied, enjoying that risk on sentiment and the weaker dollar. Um, Bank of England's Governor Bailey did speak in the UK session, pushing back a little bit on rate cut expectations while stressing the importance of returning inflation to target. Ahead today, the much awaited US CPI report, which will uh, really shape how the market market expectations of the Fed's next move.